Let us consider the products of technology we use. Cars, computers, televisions, the ovens in our homes, the telephones we use. All of these products are made of metals such as iron, copper, zinc, and aluminum, and plastic, a byproduct of oil. In other words, if these raw materials, and particularly metals, did not exist on Earth, or if mankind lacked the means to make use of them, then we would be unable to speak of technology, which makes our lives so much easier, at all. Technology comes about when man shapes the elements found on Earth in accordance with a specific aim. Looking at just a few of these elements, we shall see what a miraculous structure these substances, with which we are so familiar, possess. Heading the list of these comes an element which occupies a particularly important place in life, as well as in technology. Iron. Iron is one of the most available elements on Earth, and comprises some 5% of the Earth's crust. This element plays a major role in every stage of life, from the fundamental physical balances of the world we live in to our being able to make use of the air we breathe. In his book, Nature's Destiny, which has provoked enormous interest, the famous Australian molecular biologist, Michael Denton, describes how the laws of nature and the elements in the universe are specially tailored for human life. With respect to iron, he writes, Of all the metals, there is none more essential to life than iron. It was the drawing by gravity of iron atoms to the center of the primeval earth that generated the heat which caused the initial chemical differentiation of the earth the outgassing of the early atmosphere, and ultimately the formation of the hydrosphere. Iron is also of particular importance to our respiratory systems. This substance forms a compound with oxygen in the hemoglobin in human blood. This keeps the exceedingly combustive oxygen atoms under control. Iron directs oxygen, a most valuable source of energy, to the cell's respiratory mechanism. In other words, even our breathing is made possible by iron. What if there were no iron atoms? In that event, life would not be possible and the planet we live on would become unable to sustain life. Were there no iron, the primitive earth would not have warmed up and the atmosphere and hydrosphere would not have formed. The magnetic field which protects the earth from meteors would not have formed and there would be no radiation belts or ozone layer. The earth would be a dead planet. Iron is also the most important material basis of the civilizations established by human beings. That is because industry exists thanks to iron, and steel is made by iron combining with carbon. All of the products of advanced technology, which make our lives so much easier and so improve the quality of life, are reflections of industry. Were there no iron, then the level of technology on Earth would be no higher than simple wooden tools. All this shows that the existence of the element known as iron and its presence in large quantities on Earth is a major blessing for which we must give thanks to God. Indeed, God draws attention to this fact in the Quran. In the Surat al-Hadid, or iron, he reveals. We sent our messengers with the clear signs and sent down the book and the balance with them so that mankind might establish justice. 
and we sent down iron in which there lies great force and which has many uses for mankind, so that God might know those who help him and his messengers in the unseen. God is all strong, almighty. Iron, in which there lies great force and which has many uses for mankind, is one of the most important blessings which allow mankind to make technological progress. Therefore, everything made from iron and steel once again reminds us of the compassion of God. The buildings, cars, airplanes, railways and skyscrapers on earth may appear to be man-made. In fact, however, they only exist because God has created iron and placed it in the earth.